My name, Leslie Anderson. Title, I'm Senior Vice President and U.S. Head of Metropolitan Banking Treasury Sales. And my company is BMO Harris Bank. We're a bank. <laughs> Uh, financial services, we handle every aspect of uh, being a financial partner to businesses, consumers, startups, divestitures, the whole full gamut. The greatest challenge that I've experienced as a leader at BMO, and really in any of the other banks I've worked at as well, is the, the war on talent and the need to not just find great talent, but help to transform existing talent. I was asked to go into this role to drive sales, which is really where my strengths are. Um, but the, the real challenge for me was not to just drive sales, but to create a different value proposition for the treasury team. So change how internally folks thought about them in the hearts and minds of customers, in the hearts and minds of peers, and really drive them towards being a sales lead um, and a sales-led organization versus really a more of a support function. The most interesting and most prevalent challenge that I look forward to taking on is how do we engage technology and our talent and merge them into helping us really drive BMO into the next 200 years. The trends are everything around you from Facebook to all of the apps that move money. So everyone is chomping at the feet and the heels of financial institutions. And there's really this battle between the fintechs who can be fast and be very relevant and meet customers where they want to be, and banks who, have, who are very regulated and are built on safety and soundness. So no one wants to go and put their money in something that they don't think that they'll get their money out of. Uh, so, but there, there needs to be more of the regulation that helps to guide the growth and expansion of fintechs. And there needs to be more of the nimbleness that fintechs bring to the conversation that banks need to begin to adopt as well. And so that really, the, the convergence of those two worlds is really gonna be exciting on every level. So not just how we um, drive customer engagement and how we, but it's also how we hire, how we maintain talent how we engage talent, all of that is gonna to come to play over the next couple of years as the two worlds collide. Our best uh, ability to attract talent is our existing talent. And so we're always pushing our existing employees to say, tell us who, who you're competing against in the marketplace, we wanna to talk to them. We invest very heavily in our talent conversations, so we are very good at moving talent across the organization versus forcing them up and down a vertical track, and I think that especially our millennials are looking for a much more broad experience as it relates to the bank. And that's really how you get to the C-suite, which all of our new employees that are coming out of college, are, they're asking, so how do I become CEO in the next five years? Probably not in the next five years, but uh, our intent is to build up a pipeline of folks that can take on that role. And in order for us to do that, they need to have a really diverse experience, and we need a diverse talent pool which means that we have to be engaged with women and veterans and minorities and people with disabilities. Everyone brings a different perspective to the business and allows us to be that more competitive in the marketplace.